Good morning, Libra. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be here to roll rear today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Libra, this is going to be your monthly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take all resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Libra, if you do find that you are resonating with these messages, you are welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to let me know that you are enjoying and resonating with my content. But uh, other than that, Libra, if you would like to further support my channel, you can uh, click the link in the description box below and help translate some of some of my videos. You know, if you want to do that, you don't have to, but you know, yeah. So Libra, let's see, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. All right, so let's do one more shuffle and then we'll divide up the deck and see what you got. All right, cool, cool, cool. And I think we're gonna go with this side first. So Libra, at the bottom of the deck, you have the four of pentacles in reverse. So you could be starting to open up this month. Uh, maybe in the past you were kind of closed off and new things are starting to change in your life because you do have, you know, the death uh grim reaper in in uh in the picture as well so when i see the grim reaper i think of you know the death card because you know and the death card is all about you know change and you know things happening in your life and it talks about also you know about rebirth so you could be opening up to a new idea of yourself right or a new version of yourself that you've never you know shown people before or maybe you've shown like one person this side of you but you've really like you didn't even know about your this other side of you right so libra you have the queen of swords in reverse you also have the five of swords in reverse and you have the knight of cups in the upright so that tells me that you're wanting to open up to someone and you know you may be off offering a cup of love to someone possibly a pisces um but just be careful because this person you know is drinking that you know cup of love that they are supposed to be giving to you or this could be you drinking that cup of love and uh yeah so just be careful because this person isn't moving as fast even though they are you know they are right next to a river, so I guess they could fill that up with their emotions again. But maybe they're just trying to re really heal themselves right now, not really focus on any, anything serious, you know, like a relationship or anything of that matter. Uh, let me move you guys up closer. So you do have a chance at love here, um, but you're not really wanting to fight. You have the Five of Swords here in reverse. You also have the Queen of Swords which tells me that you're not really thinking about this person like not like they're not thinking of you but there could be an interest here it's just there's there's you're wanting them to take action but they're not thinking about taking action right and maybe in the past you fought a lot with this person so that's why you're just like you know what I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm not going to bother fighting with them about this. I'm just going to focus on myself and do what's best for me. You could be dealing with a Pisces like I was saying before because, you know, this uh this knight has all that all those fishes on <laughs> fish on his uh on his thing. <laughs> um armor. All right, so you have the 10 of wands here. So that tells me that you're releasing some type of burden that was burdening you in the past and you're finally finally letting go of that last stick. You're finally putting it down, getting some rest, doing what's best for you, which is awesome. You're not, you know, you're cutting off anyone that, you know, is wanting to argue with you or fight with you because you just don't want the drama. You don't want to, uh, you know, really deal with it. So you're using this cup of love and drinking it for yourself. So for some for some of you, it could be you that is drinking the cup of love. For others, it could be someone else that's drinking it. 
or you could be giving it to someone but like I said just be careful if someone's giving it to you because you want a full cup you don't want a cup that's half full right um, you could be dealing with a Leo but this is this could be that you know people are just going to see you as very strong and very powerful like you're willing to walk away and drop a situation even though it hurt you so badly and it made you very emotional judging by the you know this waterfall that it's like rushing down very hard and then you have this ocean in the background that's kind of you know rocky but it's you know still calm at the same time so i feel like you're dealing with all your emotions right now or like at nighttime at least and um you're not letting anyone see but you are very strong on the outside like no one would ever even notice that you've been crying at night or that you've been really focusing on yourself but they notice how strong you are like how much you went through and you know they they see it all right you have the nine of wands here which tells me that no one's really helping you or that's by your side during this time and you're doing this all by yourself that's why you drop the burden because if you had someone that to help you you know during this time you would have probably kept going but you don't have anyone so you kind of just drop the burden and do what's best for you because why do you need to burden yourself over this thing that no longer serves you so i feel like you're really separating yourself from other people doing what's best for you you may be getting yourself into a new relationship um but it's only for a, like a slim chance of you but because you know it's not really a romantic love reading here um, it's more of a, you know, separating and doing what's best for you and staying strong. Um, and yeah, you have the nine of swords here. So that's two nines. So you could be about to, there could be an ending of a cycle very soon for you. Uh, you have the emperor here and you have the nine of swords. So that tells me that you have battled your demons and you're doing what's best for you. You're no longer stressing about the situation. You're finally taking control of your life and doing what's best for you and getting your happiness back, which is awesome. That's what you want. You want your happiness. You want, you know, your wish fulfillment. Even though this technically is not a wish fulfillment, you're taking back control of your happiness. You're not letting people control how you feel. You're staying strong, you're happy with how things are going and how your life is improving, which is really good, Libra. Um, and yeah, so for the signs that I see, I see Aries, Leo, Virgo, and I want to say Sagittarius, but I don't technically see the card here. I guess that's just in the energy. Um, but either way, let's see what you got for these bowl of ruins and crystals and message rocks. But uh, yeah, let's see what you got. Oh, all right, okay, cool. So you got this, um, I wanna say it's like a, a clay green crystal um but i don't necessarily know the exact name of of it but uh it looks pretty cool so if you guys know the crystal or the rock's name then uh it could be like a jade but it's it's kind of late for a jade i don't know i don't know either way i'm sure you guys will figure out what it's meant for you or why you're needing that rock or of some sort um I know on camera it kind of looks like a white. It's kind of like a light green mint color. Um, but you have love here. So this could be a love reading for you. You're not really worried about getting into a relationship. But if one comes across it, like if someone you know sweeps you off your feet, you, you may just take them up on their offer. You know, And then you have hope. Have hope that the situation is going to be all right. So... 
yeah, let's get into your Moonology card. So I'm going to back this up a little bit. So, Libra, 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 Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Alright, 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 alright. Let's see what you got for the Moonology cards. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Oh, you have two tens as well. So you definitely could be and there could be a cycle ending for you and a new beginning starting for you very soon this month, which is really good. Um, that could be why, um, you know, you're ending that tough cycle and you're finally doing what's best for you. You're releasing um, your anything that's burning you and going towards your happiness, which is awesome, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Don't let the past hold you back from doing what's best for you. And you need to re ask yourself, what do you need to release? So this month, I do see you releasing something. So you will be figuring out what you need to release. Um, but it's just going to take some time. You do have a lot of blue and green in this color and in these cards. So that tells me that, uh, you really need to focus on your heart chakra. Maybe you need to do some healing on your heart chakra, but, um, so that way you're able to love or to be loved. You know, everyone's able to be loved, but it just, sometimes people need to love themselves or most of the time. People need to love themselves before anyone else can love them because how do you expect anyone else to love you if you do not love yourself? So, yeah, the answers you need will be coming forward towards you. Um, but like I was saying, you got your third eye, you know, really coming out in this reading. So really focus to your, really focus on your intuition and your crown chakra. You can also focus on your throat chakra because your throat chakra is also blue, whereas third eye is like a purplish blue color and you kind of get that in this uh, waxing moon or warning warning moon um but either way so when you ask yourself what do you need to release the answers will come to you but um it may not come to you right away you may r start realizing in the month of june what you actually need to release in order to be happy for once in order to heal um, all those from all those burdens that you've been holding on to for so long all right so libra that's going to be your reading for today i hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help grow my channel and i really do appreciate it namaste i'll see you guys next time peace and if you would like to follow me on instagram and twitter the links will be down in the description in the description below if you want to you know help translate some of my videos you can you know click the link in the description box and it will you know take you to wherever you know um and you can you know do the subtitles for or you know translate in another language um so that way other people from foreign countries can you know watch my videos and know what i'm saying and what i'm talking about but other than that if you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel you can hit that channel button it will take you to a whole bunch of videos on my channel or you can uh hit that pop-up video and it will take you to another one of my videos that youtube that youtube recommends for you guys but other than that i'll see you guys next time peace